Come on, everybody, open your mouth and worship the Lord. He's worthy of Hello, the Hello, children of the living God. My name is Evangelist Francis Oedeji. Today, I will be teaching you about dealing with the spirit of anger. But before that, let us pray together. Father Lord, in the name of Jesus, speak through me today and let your viewers understand the content of my today's message and let it be useful and be meaningful unto their daily living. For in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Open your Bible with me to the book of Ephesians chapter 4 from verse 26 to 27. It says, Be angry and do not sin. Do not let the sun go down on your wrath, nor give place to the devil. Beloved, Bible is telling us that for us to get angry is not a sin, but for letting the anger to go, to, to, to let the sun go down on your anger is a sin. You can be angry, but after some time, you have to get over that anger so that you don't let the blessing of God be taken away because of your anger. Let, let me tell you what is anger. I want to divine the meaning of anger for you. Anger is an emotion characterized by antagonist, antagonist towards someone or something you feel has deliberately drawn you wrong. Anger, it is what? It is an emotion characterized by antagonism towards someone or something you feel has deliberately done you wrong. That is anger. So I, I want to tell you what are the psychological behind anger. What is what are the psychological I mean behind anger? One is anger can also be substitute for what for emotion. By this we mean that some, sometimes people make themselves angry so that they don't feel, they don't have to feel pain. People, people change their feeling of pain into anger because it's feel better to be angry than does not to be pain. That is, you can be angry. There is nothing wrong about going angry. But then don't let the anger in you to let some go down in the anger. That is, don't be angry for a long period of time. Beloved, anger will disturb your thinking. Anger will change your situation for worse. Anger is very, very bad. Anger will make you to lose your friend. Beloved, anger will make you to lose your job because you are angry. Anger can make you to lose your relationship with somebody. When you are angry, you cannot control your anger. It can make you to lose the most precious gift that God has given to you. Beloved, you need to deal with anger seriously. If you want to live in this planet Earth with peace, you need to deal with anger. Because anger has destroyed so many marriages. Hungers, anger has destroyed so many lives. And people don't take note of it. And that is why that anger has killed so many people's destiny because of anger. And, and what I'm trying to say now, what I'm talking about, it is dealing with the spirit of anger. When you are angry, physically, physically, it makes you look horrible. But what I'm saying is that getting angry is not a problem. But don't let the hunger go over you for 24 hours, for one year. Beloved, I want to give you an example. I, I, I usually have a friend of mine. Anytime he sees me, he's always angry. Say, you, you are doing this, you are doing this. He talks all sort of stuff word about me. And every time when he talks about this, I will say, I'm supposed to be hungry. I will say, ah, okay, it's fine. I will just take it. I won't be hungry. Because when I'm hungry with him, that spirit of blessing in me will go away. And I say, okay, I have egg, I have egg. And one day this guy came because I don't respond to his anger. I didn't respond. He gave me $20. He said, take. And I collected it. I said, ah. So if I have, let's assume it now, by the time he was throwing words at me, and I got angry with him, 
You won't give me that money. That's what I'm telling, trying to tell you. Don't let anger take away what God has given to you. Anger is a bad spirit. Beloved, you need to deal with the spirit of anger. If you want, let me tell you, your certificates can get you a job. Yes. But your character will keep you in that job. If you have a bad character, they will send you away from that job. I'm telling you. But if you don't take notes, you just be going from one job to the other. So beloved, your character is very important. Your hunger is very important. If you are the type that indignation, when you are hungry, you boy, ah, no. I'm not saying you should not show attitude. You can show attitude for, for you, for something, for, like somebody is trying to call you something and you don't like it. Let the person feel it. Ah, like, you say, you are a driver. Ah. I say, I'm not a driver. I am an engineer. So what I'm trying to say is that don't let people, uh, there is no how you can live with somebody without you having, without having have to angry with that person, even with your children, with your wife. There is nothing you can do, even with your brothers. You, ang you get angry with them. But what I'm trying to say is that don't let your anger go over you. Because when that anger is going over you, you don't deal with it, you will miss the, the promise of God for your life. You will, make, you will miss what God has destined for you. So beloved, you need to deal with that spirit. What are the steps that you need to take to deal with the spirit of anger? The first one that you need to give your life to Christ. The Bible says, Come to me, all ye with heavy laden, and I will give you rest. The Bible says, For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever beloved, believe in him shall not perish, but we have everlasting life. You need to give your life to what? To Jesus Christ. That is number first step. To take the second step you need to believe that you have that spirit of anger in you you have to believe it that okay I have the spirit of anger in me that is second step the third step is to deal with anger without mercy you need to deal with it and how do you deal with anger you go to God in prayer you will begin to pray to God that God you, you first pray like this say oh Lord have mercy upon me then you now say, every spirit of anger in me, I renounce you today. My life is not your candidate. Go back to your sender in the name of Jesus Christ. I say, every spirit of anger in my life. Today is your hand. Go back to your sender in the name of Jesus. I keep the spirit of anger in me today in the name of Jesus Christ. Every spirit of anger that the enemy has deposited into my life. Every spirit of anger that I've inherited from my parents. Every spirit of anger that my friend has influenced me with, I renounce you today. My life is not your habitation. In the name of Jesus, I begin to pray for yourself. Say, spirit of anger, I renounce you. My life is not your candidate. My life is not your habitation. Go back to your sender. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you today that that spirit of anger in you will go back to the sender in the name of Jesus. That spirit of anger will go back to where it came from in the name of Jesus Christ. By the power that divided the rest, by the power that says, let there be light and there is light. Every spirit of anger in your life, I speak life to you today in the name of Jesus. You will receive your breakthrough in the name of Jesus. God will break you free from the spirit of of anger in the name of Jesus Christ as from today's henceforth you begin to live the life that God has proposed you for in the name of Jesus the life that God has ordained you to be you will begin to live it in the name of Jesus you are not going to be your second best you'll be your number one in the name of Jesus Christ whatever you lay your hand upon shall prosper in the name of Jesus Christ I speak to that spirit of anger today to receive the touch of God Receive the touch of God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. For in Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. Thank you for joining me today. Join me next time. Bye for now. I will urge you to call this number on the screen. 
if you want me to pray along with you so that we can both deal with praying to God together to deal with that spirit of anger you can also call us on this phone number plus one three oh six five zero zero five four eight seven again plus one three oh six five zero zero five four eight seven God bless you we are expecting your call and your own case will not be exceptional for in the mighty name of Jesus I pray for you amen thank you